Never before has inclusion been such a high priority for the Irish education system, with educators constantly seeking ways in which to accommodate and support learners with specific needs. Although a lot of research has examined the experiences of children with special educational needs in a school setting, it seems to focus more on children who have particular physical or cognitive needs that might hinder their academic progression. In comparison, we know very little about those distinct groups of children who have specific social or emotional needs, for example, children with incarcerated parents. Existing literature has suggested that children with parents in prison may be at risk socially, emotionally, financially and even physically. A myriad of potential disruptions and difficulties result in these children being amongst the most marginalised and stigmatised in society. In Ireland, children of incarcerated parents have been afforded little or no attention. We are unaware of even the number of children whose lives are affected by parental imprisonment, as there is no official procedure for recording such figures. More specifically, not one Irish study has to date examined the issue from a purely educational perspective. My name is Ashton Ryan Mangan, and I'm a PhD candidate in the School of Education here at Trinity College Dublin. My research is in relation to the effects of paternal incarceration on the academic lives of primary school children aged 6 to 12 years in the Republic of Ireland. I use the term academic lives to refer to children's approaches to schoolwork, their relationships with teachers and peers, their academic performance and their attitudes to school and learning, both within and outside of the school setting. The Irish primary curriculum acknowledges that children live in and are part of society and that their personal development is deeply affected by their relationships in the home and with other people in society. With this in mind, my research aims to describe, analyse and understand the experiences of children who have fathers in Irish prisons, exploring how these experiences influence their lives academically. My study will provide educators and other relevant professionals with much needed insights into the challenges faced by these children and ensure that these people are better informed and thus better equipped when it comes to supporting children of prisoners, emotionally, socially and academically. Research findings are expected to inform future policy developments and interventions, which will see education becoming more accessible to and inclusive of these children, thereby increasing their life chances and possibly reducing the likelihood of intergenerational offending. This study has the potential to offer long-term benefits for not only the education system, but also the Irish justice system. Through initiating a dialogue amongst politicians, officials and society in general, I hope to increase visibility of this at-risk group of children who are, as Marshall says, not seen, not heard, but most importantly, not guilty.